what's up guys welcome back to the channel uh, if any of you guys have followed me since day one with the Suburban you will know that it's actually come a pretty far ways uh, the lift wheels and tires recently just got installed everything's looking pretty good at least from the five foot rule everything looks pretty good but I've seen a few people do videos like this before but I figured I would show you guys my top five things that I actually hate about my Suburban build. Although no, it's not finished. I still have a lot more to do, but I figured you guys might want to see the top five things that I absolutely hate about this truck or SUV or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to start with number five and this list goes from the least to greatest amount that I hate it. <laughs> number one being the worst and number five being not as bad. So starting with number five, the number five thing that I hate about this Suburban is just how easily it gets dirty. It being a black vehicle, dirt clings to it like nothing. Like I know that that's my fault <laughs> for the sake of the tires poking out so far, but I swear I hardly even drive it and it just gets filthy uh it's also very difficult to clean because of how tall it is i need a stool to reach the hood and i honestly don't even clean the roof <laughs> but yeah if anybody else has a black vehicle they understand the struggle with trying to keep it clean see like this this is all this is all my fault you know you could see there everything that the tires kicked up but uh, water spots look really bad on it. There's water spots all over it. I haven't cleaned it in a while. And it just, it just can't seem to stay clean to save its own life. Which is fine, it's all part of the game. But I definitely say that that's my number five thing that I hate about this truck. And then I got the black suspension, the black wheels that are filthy. These wheels are uh, ceramic coated, but they're still filthy as well. So yeah, the number five thing is not the color. It's just how easy this color gets dirty. Look at, look, look there's like smears and, and fingerprints and garbage and stuff and things. And it's horrible. But yeah, that would be the number five thing. Moving on to the number four thing that I hate about the Suburban is actually that I think uh, the previous owner or or somebody or whatever they they had this broken into I believe or tried because you can see here that the the liners all like super messed up like someone had tried to like jam a screwdriver in there or something and then you can see too in the door jams there's a bunch of scratches and, and it's like that on the other side as well so I don't know how this even happens but my guess would be just somebody's trying to get in and they're prying at it and whatnot same with up there and then looking at this side of the vehicle which i'll get into more later this side or this door i'm not really too sure has definitely been repainted uh the gloss isn't the same as factory and there's no way that that is uh, stock you could tell that they just kind of sprayed over it along with the badge here they just taped the edges like to cover it up and spray so actually it must not be the door yeah it's probably this whole side has been repainted but yeah I guess the number four thing is kind of a kind of a two for one and that is that there is the damage from somebody trying to break in or whatever that was and this side of the truck SUV or car or whatever <laughs> has been repainted at one point in time so like from far away maybe you can't tell a oh, watch you probably can tell but a lot of times from far away you can't tell but when you get up close and definitely compare it to the other side then it's a big difference yeah like that side is just dirty but relatively uh, all even coverage and everything it looks all good but over here, it's just blotchy and gross. I mean, it's fixable. 
like I said, this truck isn't finished. Truck, SUV, whatever. <laughs> the Suburban's not finished, but it's still something that bothers me. So that would be the number four thing that I dislike about this Suburban. And now, I said the number four thing was the repainted side and the fact that it got like broken into at one point in time or somebody attempted to. So I said that about this side. But the number three thing is actually the damage that is also on this side. I mean, for the most part, there's a couple scratches here and there. You know, like a 13 year old vehicle would have. That kind of bothers me. But this, this door is really screwed up. You got this big dent right here. I think you can see that. Big dent here, a ding there, and another decent one right there. So this is another one of those situations where from far away, and if you add like a sweet edit, you can't tell. <laughs> but when you get up close, yeah. Yeah, it's there. You can definitely see it. Uh, I am the worst critic of my own vehicles, so every time it's available to see, I see it. That's all I could stare at. But luckily, that will be fixed eventually, just like everything else. It takes time. But that's another thing that really bothers me. Like, there's a bunch of other things that need work, too. Like, like this. This is... I don't know what there's there's like liquid in there or condensation that's horrible you know all this chrome is all old as hell horrible but that's okay that's that's easily just fixable that looks like shit so yeah that right there definitely earns a number three spot in the things that i hate about this suburban moving on to the number two spot we have and this might surprise you it might not but the number two thing that I absolutely hate about this Suburban is the fact that it has IFS. Independent front suspension is, in my opinion, a huge pain in the ass. And there's just too many components, too many things that you have to worry about. Like I'm used to solid axles, I like solid axles, it's just so much more straightforward in my opinion. Uh, independent front suspension, like you can see, especially when you go to something stupid like a 15 inch lift kit there's so many drop down brackets so much extra weight uh you know the ifs you got to deal with the cv joints all your different angles the control arms all that stuff you don't have to worry about the bluetooth drive shaft though that well i should worry about that but i'm not worried about that that didn't make the list at all that's all right that's that's for another video but yeah IFS, I don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't think it looks as good. The big drop down. Nah. Screw IFS. Maybe, maybe one day, maybe one day we'll get a solid axle under there. That would be the day, wouldn't it? Run some 44s. Solid axle swap. Ah. Ah. Well, yeah, the number two spot goes to the front end being IFS. Trust me, if you have the choice, you're gonna go solid axle. Whether you pavement princess it or you go off road, solid axle. IFS is garbage. And this is another one of those things that you could say like, you know, IFS is great, but look what I did to it with the angles and all that stuff. That's why I hate it, but that's what I wanna do. And so, yes, I definitely, definitely don't like it. I definitely prefer solid axle. I don't know why IFS even exists to be honest but it is what it is and it's what I had to work with another thing with the IFS is I don't think it looks as good like from the side view either you have all this drop down and whatnot like the rear looks okay but you just have a big square chunk coming down and it probably makes me get like seven less mpg but anyways yeah that's the number two spot I don't like IFS so I definitely hate that about the Suburban all right, and now, earning the number one spot for the top five things that I hate about the Suburban. Could you guys guess? 
No. The number one thing is these massive coil spacers. A couple of you have mentioned them in previous videos and uh, I can't help but notice them every time that I look into the fenders. But yeah, these coil spacers I think are absolutely hideous. They are meant to be a temporary setup until I figure out just exactly what I want to do, whether it's uh, larger coil spraying or coil overs or, you know, I don't even actually know what exact height that I want to go with. So that's why we got the spacers for now. But I do think that they are absolutely hideous. I think they look like shit. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with running them. Uh, if anything, it probably rides better with them because I'm just utilizing my stock suspension for the most part. But they don't look good at all. And that's the issue I have. I think they look absolutely terrible. Uh, from the front, you can't really see them, which is good. You know, front view, you don't really get to see those massive rods. And from the rear, it's not even that bad. But it's mostly from the side that you can definitely see it. And in one of my other videos, I installed these rock lights. Uh, and they're great and all. But what bothers me is that when you go and light them all up, it's like I'm lighting up the coil spacer. <laughs> so that kind of bothers me too. You know, it looks so nice and all that, but like it isn't, aren't the rock lights supposed to be showing off your like nice suspension, all that? Whatever. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, that is the top five things that I absolutely hate about my Suburban. A lot of these things are maybe nitpicky or could easily be changed. And with given time, they probably will be. But yeah, I figured I would share with you guys just the things that I dislike about it because a lot of times in pictures and sometimes in video, it could be deceiving and like just look like there's no issues or no flaws but that's absolutely not the case this is a build this is a personal build it's not like a spotless SEMA truck that's it's just my passion so it's constantly going to be changing going to be adding new things to it removing things but it's come a long way from when i first got it that's for sure so what do you guys think if you had this suburban what would your top five be would it be the fact that it's just a suburban and that nobody should ever do this to it and it gets two mpg and i'm a huge douche for owning it i don't know if i had like 10 reasons those would probably be some of them <laughs> i want to know what you guys would change with this build and what you would do differently so let me know down in the comments other than that i guess that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time peace mm -hmm.